Okay, so two different ways to factor a polynomial. Um, in this case, the polynomial 2x squared minus x minus 3. We are going to first try the trial and error method. Okay, in this method, what we're talking about is we are trying to figure out what the factors could be when we're factoring this. So we know right away the first two after we do FOIL should turn out to be 2x squared. So there's going to need to be a 2x and an x as the first term in both binomials. The second thing that we know right away is that the last two are going to have to multiply to negative 3. Um, only a couple different options there. 3 and negative 1 or 1 and negative 3. So you just kind of trial and error, see which ones work. So let's try a negative 1 and a positive 3. All right, so if this is what we're trying, the way you check to see if it works is you're trying to figure out the FOIL. So 2x times x gives you the 2x squared. 2x times 3 gives you 6x. Negative 1 times x gives you negative 1x. Negative 1 times 3 gives you negative 3. Right? And then when you simplify that, combining like terms, I will end up with a positive 5x minus 3. Looks like that didn't work. Okay, so again, that's okay. That didn't work. We'll go ahead and erase that, and try a different set of numbers. So maybe we can try positive one. Let's see. Let's try doing that. A positive one, and then a negative three, and see if that makes a difference. All right. So then, in, in that case. When we did 2x times x, you still have the 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is a negative 6x. 1 times x is a positive x. And then a negative 3. Now in this case, we ended up with a negative 5x as the middle term. Still didn't work, so what we have to do is realize, okay, we tried the positive and negatives there. So we might just want to switch where the 1 and 3 are and see if that makes a difference. And sometimes that'll do it. All right, so let's put maybe the negative 3 here and the positive 1 here. See if that makes a difference. Okay, so again, we'll FOIL this out. 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times 1, 2x. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Now, combining our like terms in this case, we have the negative x as our middle term, which is, in fact, our original, which means that our final solution is 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. We can go ahead and solve this exact same problem a different method. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to rewrite this on a different page. Still going to be factor 2x squared minus x minus 3. Okay. In this case, what we will do is what's called the AC method. Okay, So the AC method talks about a couple of different things. First of all, you're going to need two numbers that multiply to a times c, which is the first times the last. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then it has to add to the middle term, which was negative 1. All right, so now that we've got that, Let's see if we can figure out what those numbers are. Two things that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. Okay. Probably going to be a 2 and a 3, and it looks like it has to add to negative 1, so the 3 will have to be negative. Okay. In the AC method, once you find those two numbers, you have to rewrite the polynomial to do factor by grouping. Okay, So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to rewrite this entire polynomial. It's the middle term, that negative x that we have, is what's going to change using our two new numbers that we found. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite that. 2x squared. We had a positive 2x and a negative 3x and still a minus 3. Notice the first term and the last term stayed the same. It's this middle terms that changed. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and do factor by grouping. If I were to split this up into two groups, okay, in the first group there is a 2 and an x in common. I'm left over with the x plus 1. In the second group, notice when you have a negative in the first term, 
It's always easiest to factor out that negative with your greatest common factor. In this case, my greatest common factor was a 3. And then that will turn into a positive x and then a positive 1. Again, factoring out the negative. Okay, so we factored out this negative. It does change this sign over here. Okay, so that's what we've got. And then again, going back to our factor by grouping, looks like we have an x plus 1 in common, and we are left over with a 2x minus 3. Okay, and again, we can check our work. Always you should check your work just to make sure. By foiling, if I foiled this out, 2x squared was my first one. x times negative 3, 1 times 2x, 1 times negative 3. And then this, those will, middle two terms will combine to be the negative x that we had originally. So, looks like we had our factoring to be x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. Okay, this was the AC method. Now let's compare it back to our original that we had when we did trial and error. Same thing. Order doesn't matter. You still had an x plus 1 and a 2x minus 3. So those are the two different ways to factor.